Here's how to update your Spider object in your Construct project. If your Spider object is not using the Draw Self mode and is using standard Construct sprites to reproduce the animations, then you can simply do the following. Make sure you've saved out both the SCML and SCON file with the same exact name from Spryder. Then drag and drop your SCON or SCML file to the same layout in your Construct project that you had originally imported the Spryder object into. Choose the appropriate event sheet for Construct to add the on initialized event to and confirm the import of any required sound files. Once it's done, go to the event sheet that the initialize event was added to and find and delete the original on initialize event that was created the previous time you imported or updated the Spryder file. That's it! Updating your Spryder objects that use the Construct Sprites mode is this easy, which is why we recommend keeping all your Spryder objects in this mode until your project is ready for publishing, at which point you can switch over whichever Spryder object you'd like to use the Draw Self mode, which is more optimized for performance, but a bit trickier to update when you change or add animations in your Spryder file during game development. A future video will show you the step-by-step -step process to convert a Spryder object that uses Construct Sprites to use the Draw Self mode instead. If your Construct project is already using a Spryder object in the Draw Self mode and you need to update it, here's how. If you've only tweaked or added animations but did not add any new collision boxes or images, then all you need to do is find and delete the .scon file from the project and import the new one after exporting it from Spryder in the proper sprite sheeted format. If you've changed or added some images, then you need to re-export your project from Spryder in the sprite sheeted format, then in Construct, find the Spryder object and update its sprite sheet image and update the SCON file to the new version as well. If you've added new sounds, then after updating to the latest SCON file, you can just manually import any sound files that you've added. If you added new collision rectangles to your Spryder project and there already was one or more created from the first time you imported the Spryder project, then you can simply clone one of the currently existing collision sprites and carefully rename it to match the naming convention of the collision rectangles, with the exact name it has in Spryder at the end. For example, in this case, the Spryder file is called boss, and in Spryder the entity is called boss underscore zero. And finally, this collision rectangle is called body box. So the sprite in your construct project should be named boss underscore boss underscore zero underscore body box. If your spriter object did not previously have any collision rectangles, then you can create them from scratch in construct. Being very careful of the exact naming convention required, and most importantly, to add them to the container, family, and folder for that spriter object along with all its other sprites. They should be 16 by 16 pixel sprites with their collision shape being a rectangle that fills the entire shape and their pivot point kept at top left. Once you've cloned or created and properly named your collision sprites, then go to the on initialize event in the event sheet, copy and paste one of the existing association actions for another sprite, and use the replace object feature to replace the current sprite with your new collision sprite. Then edit the name of the object in the name slot to be the entity name followed by an underscore and then the name of the collision box as it appears in Spryder. In this case, boss underscore zero underscore body box. That's it. Now your Spryder object is fully updated in your construct project. Thanks for watching.